this is Tristan at Hip Cooks in West Los Angeles, and today I'm going to show you how to make restaurant style buffalo chicken wings. All right, it's a multi step process, but it will be well worth it. Big stainless bowl for mixing. I've got my chicken pieces off to the side, one cup of all purpose flour, a half a teaspoon paprika, a half a teaspoon cayenne pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. So, these four ingredients get mixed into our giant bowl to flavor our wings. So we're adding a little bit of heat to them with that cayenne pepper, and the paprika is a sweet paprika, so it'll just add some nice color and another depth of flavor. So give that a good mix. In go the chicken wings. All right, make room in your refrigerator because these needs to sit in the refrigerator and get happy for about 60 to 90 minutes. Okay, that can stay in the bowl, cover it if you like, no big deal if you don't, into the fridge. The chicken wings have been in the fridge for an hour and I've got my deep fat fryer set at 375, it's nice and hot, so I'm ready to begin the process of frying my wings. Knock off that extra flour and slowly plop it in. So the chicken wings will either float to the top, be golden brown, for about, I'd give it about eight minutes in the fryer and that will be the amount of time they'll need to finish up. The last batch of chicken wings are in the fryer, so while that's finishing up, I'm going to make my final sauce for these. I have a quarter stick of butter. So for the hot sauce here, this is Rooster's hot sauce. We also have Louisiana hot sauce available in grocery stores, and then there's also Frank. So any of those brands will make for a great chicken wing sauce. Sprinkle of black pepper, so maybe a quarter a teaspoon, and same with garlic powder about a quarter of a teaspoon. So the idea here is just to get them all mixed up and nice and hot and pull out the rest of the chicken wings. And onto the paper bag. I use paper bags to, brown paper bags, to put fried food on. Using paper bags helps keep the fried food crisp. So get yourself a big bowl, just dump those in. And the sauce is ready. Pour over the top. Okay. Mix them up. It's got that classic orange color. So once they're nicely coated, these babies are ready to serve. And that is how to make restaurant style buffalo chicken wings. And if you want a dipping sauce, check out one of our dipping sauce videos. We've got a bunch of them. Enjoy. Beautiful bright spankin' orange. Thanks for watching. If there are any other recipes you'd like to see me prepare, please send an email to request at mahalo.com. And in the meantime, check out our other videos.